Um, please use the raise hand function. Uh, since nobody's hand is up, I'll open it up to the floor. Uh, whoever would like to start, uh, please do. Looks like Mike K. Uh, go ahead, Mike. Hey, Jeremy. Um, Steve and the offense kind of you guys by going for it on fourth down, deep in the red zone, um, and you kind of paid it off. You had a nice pass breakup on third down. Um, how much does that trust kind of give you guys confidence moving forward, the belief in the from the offense and also the coaching staff in your unit? Yeah, uh, that confidence in us, it means a lot. Uh, we take a lot of pride in it for sure. Um, every time we hit the field, we expect to get a stop, you know, whether we be backed up or uh, whatever the situation may be, we hit the field with confidence. So for him to have that same confidence in us, it means a lot. Mike Solarte, please. Hey, Jeremy. Uh, question I have is the time of possession was nearly 40-20 yesterday. Um, as a defense, is there a, is there a happier stat in the book for a defense when you guys are watching most of the game instead of yeah. being out there for 70, 80 snaps? No, that's about, that's about as good as it gets right there. The way the offense ran the ball, um, you know, it makes it a – a lot, a lot better for the defensive side of the ball. So we definitely appreciate them pushing the rock. And and the way that you guys as a defense have been, uh, you know, obviously fresher yesterday and able to, you know, be be as energetic as you can be, getting the push from up front. I mean, what's been what's clicked for you guys as a unit with the with the front seven, the back end, uh, you know, playing that that complimentary football? Yeah, I think you kind of said it, just playing complimentary ball. Um, you know, it starts up front. It starts with stopping the run. I think they had like 46 or some yards like that yesterday. And, um, you know, we can stop the run. It really opens up the game. David Newton, please. Hey, Jeremy, I kind of want to follow up on what he was asking. Early in the season, you guys were on the field like a ton. Yeah. And you never complained about it and never blamed the offense or anything like that. How, how ha exactly, though, has that made you guys better defensively by not having to be out there for 60, 70, 80 plays? Uh, yeah, it's huge. I mean, I, I feel like if we do need to be out there, then, you know, this defense is very capable of being out there and, um, you know, making those stops and, and eventually getting off the field. But, uh, you know, the, the, the help from the offense, it, it means a ton. Um, but we take a lot of pride in the defense. We, we, we will never blame the offense for anything. So. We feel like if they put, you know, seven points when, on the board, then it's up to you us. Were out for, you were out for a while while Sam was still out, too. Did you guys hang out at all, talk football? Did he, you feel like you helped him a little bit? Or? Uh, no, we didn't hang out during the season while we were both out. But me and Sam, we spent a lot of time together. Um, and I definitely, you know, he, he's, he's been the same person every single day, even when he was out. Uh, but now I can definitely, you can definitely, I think everyone can tell that his confidence is up, as it should be. When you say, how can you tell his confidence is up? Just the way he carries himself. Okay. Did, did, did you feel like, I mean, was a lot of football talk from the defensive side, knowledge when you were you guys were hanging out? Was there a lot of football talk? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we talked a lot of football. Um, okay. Different schemes, things, things that we do, um, how offense try to attack us, uh, all types of things. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. All right, Joe Person and Mike K, please. Jeremy, were you in the room there uh, on the side when Derek was talking? Yeah, I was, I was right here. Do you agree with his assessment that uh, bearded face Sam is more chill than <laughs> a face Sam? Um, I don't know. I, I put him hand in hand. <laughs> um, is there a kind of different vibe around Sam this year, though? I mean, he kind of he, he was sort of laying in the weeds and kind of in the background for the first half of the season. Did it did maybe it somehow just I don't know take some pressure off or what's your read on that? Um, I think he's just he's getting his opportunity and he's making the most of it. Um, you know, I don't think necessarily anything changed with Sam. Maybe the things around Sam, but. Um, you know, I definitely have confidence in Sam, and he has confidence in himself. And then I'm just curious why you're at the stadium on Victory Monday. I'll talk to you guys. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, you know, just try to keep the same routine a little bit. We're ready, we're ready to, um, 
We're ready for Sunday. Not ready, but getting ready. Yeah. All right, Jeremy, they, uh, the secondary kind of mixed and matched personnel, there was a lot of different corners, a lot of different safeties, Xavier out. Uh, what do you like about that, about having kind of a fluid rotation in that backfield? Uh, I think it, it says a lot um, about the guys that we have in the room. You know, everybody's ready. Um, the communication, you know, it's always on point. So you can tell the guys really put a lot of work in. And, um, you yeah, know, that, that's a big time to have in the secondary. Anything else for Jeremy Chin? All right, Jeremy, thanks so much. Thanks, guys.